Okay, on quiz number 14, okay, you are given a curve, which is a cosine curve and arc cosine curve that was covered in the lesson. And in the lessons, we have talked about all these points. You may have to go back to previous set, uh, weeks to look at the curve, how the making of a cosine curve. So on, on this quiz, you are given points, right? From some of the points are on cosine, some of the points are on arc cosine. What is the intention? The intention of, the, of this question is for you to be able to identify for cosine, okay? Cosine takes angles, produces ratio, okay? The ratio, of course, according to definition, uh, the, in the definition ARD, it is, uh, there's a ratio. That ratio is X over R, okay? For example, if you see, say, cosine, uh, take a point A, for example. Take point A, for example. First of all, you see point A is on cosine curve. So it must be cosine something, right? Cosine, and here you're gonna read, there's a number negative two pi, okay? So that's negative two pi then you need to figure out what is the value of cosine negative two pi. You can use, um, the, the graph actually tells you cosine negative two pi is a positive one, right? And so the input, the input is the arc length, the arc length, which is measured from origin, and the output is a red, which is right here, input output. And the, the respective points, okay? The respective points is going to be negative two pi comma one. So A will correspond to a point, you need to find cosine two pi, a negative two pi. And here you go, cosine negative two pi, that corresponds to the ratio, the ratio is one. So when you choose that on the drop down box, box you're gonna choose 15, right? So that's the, uh, that is how you answer that question. You can see the intention is for you to understand a cosine is a function that takes input angle and produces output ratio. Now, arc cosine. Arc cosine takes ratio, okay? We talk about how arc cosine was made. Arc cosine takes ratio, not a regression, sorry, ratio, but the ratio has to be between negative one and positive one. So X has to be between negative one, less than equals to X, and less than equals to positive one. Actually, this X may be confused with this X. So let me just use red, okay? Red, which refers to when our, our, our pre previous, when we're making pictures, right? Red over R, blue over R, right? We've been using red, blue. And the ratio, so this X is a ratio. Pre Produces angle, produces angle. But the angle has to be in the range of zero to pi. So you can see the points on the curve is gonna have angle ratio, okay? The point on cosine curve will always be input angle output ratio, okay? So on cosine curve, first number, it's because all these points, they are ordered pair. So this point is going to be um, angle, right? That is angle. And cosine domain, domain is all real numbers. So it can be any, any, um, uh, any radian or any degree. Well, here we use radian only. And the one, and of course that's a ratio, 
okay? Ratio, right? So the point on cosine curve is gonna look like um, angle ratio. The points on arc cosine, they're gonna look like ratio angle. Okay? For example, if I pick a point Q, right? Point Q obviously is on arc cosine. Arc cosine takes ratio produces angle, right? You have to read that. What is that? What is that number, right? What is that number? Obviously, this number is on the y-axis, right? The x value is zero. So you're working with this is going to be the ratio equals to zero. The ratio is zero, and this ratio, and and the goal is given to arc cosine arc cosine zero, arc cosine, what does arc cosine zero equal to? That should be an angle, right? So once we have that question, uh, once we have that question, once we understand that, you know the points on arc cosine Q is gonna be, the points is gonna look like, this particular point is gonna be ratio, comma, angle, ratio angle. Right? So you can see there's a difference on the points on arc cosine and the points on cosine curve. The order, the order pair are in different order. But because the construction of arc cosine, it has this specific range. The range is from zero to pi. Then you need to figure out for ratio, for ratio zero, right? For ratio zero, what will be the arc? cosine value, what will be that angle, right? So this you need to figure out from two different perspectives, right? Two, two or three different perspectives. One of the perspective is from the unit circles perspective, uh, from, the, from the definition perspective, right? Definition's perspective that if I, uh, if I draw a, um, a rectangular system, okay? If I if I draw a rectangular, if you already know the answer, of course, the answer you know is pretty straightforward. But if you don't know the answer here, I'm showing you how you figure that out, right? Q. The point Q, I know the ratio already because the ratio you just read, uh, it's gonna be, raised, it's gonna be uh, the input is ratio, which is zero. The output is gonna be an angle. So it's gonna be ratio angle. So now we already know the ratio is zero. We just have to figure out, figure out the angle. Now, when ratio is zero, what is a cosine? What is arc of cosine zero? So that's the answer we need. That's the answer we need to find out. Find out by this. I encourage you guys to use ARP. Okay, even though you can get that answer very, you know, easily from your calculator, but that's besides the point. That's besides the point. Okay. We want you to be focusing on ARD. Okay, well, I hope you do that because if you keep doing that, everything will become so much easier instead of always get confused. All right, so arc cosine is, a, when we're making arc cosine function, we understand we, we basically, um, you know, arc cosine is one-to-one -one function, so we don't work on quadrant three and quadrant four, right? So it's a question of a DRA, right? So we know the ratio. We know the ratio we're looking for angle. We know the ratio we're looking for angle. So what angle of a cosine, right? That if you feel measure is gonna is gonna give you zero, right? So you're gonna measure angles. Which angle? You can. How do we measure angle from a standard position? Either counterclockwise or clockwise. For arc cosine, you cannot measure clockwise because the range is from zero to pi. So you can only measure from, you can only measure from standard position um, counterclockwise, right? One is at zero, cosine, cosine zero degree is, I'm sorry, cosine zero degree is one, right? So, and uh, let me also, you can also look at unit circle. In fact, in fact, 
arc cosine zero is pi over two, right? That shouldn't be too hard for you to figure out. The cos is, is pi over two. So with that understood, then it's pi over two. Pi over two. Pi over two. Okay. So at that terminal, cosine pi over two is zero. So then you're going to look for that point, zero comma pi over two. Zero comma pi over two. Zero pi over two. And what it means is that, what it means is that arc cosine, wait, arc cosine zero, zero equals to pi over two. Okay, and then you're gonna look for it in the table. We're gonna look for it in the table. And uh, do we have such a number? You have to look for arc cosine, arc cosine. Where's arc cosine? Arc cosine zero, there we go, is number 18. Okay, input is zero, input is ratio, output is pi over two. Okay, I hope these two examples uh, will help. And I, I don't intend to make this lesson too long because you have watched some you know, very long lessons during the week. But in summary, in summary, the intention, right? The intention of this lesson is for you to be able to tell that a cosine function, okay? Um, like arc cosine function and a cosine function, they are two different kinds of functions. Cosine function takes angle, produces ratio. Arc cosine function takes ratio produces angle, but the angle has to be between zero to pi and the input ratio has to be from negative one to positive one. And this graph, you can tell the input is going to be from negative one. You can see it's marked right here, negative one, right, pi. And, um, and over here is, um, you know, this point is marked. And that point is also marked, okay? I hope this helps. And if you have other questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I will be happy to make another uh, less, uh, you know, recording like this to help you. Thank you for watching.